she's a young uh, Mexican. She lives in Mexico City uh, with her uh, dad and brother, who's Diego Boneta. Um, and she has, uh, as she says, a simple little life. And well, suddenly she's in the middle of this uh, crazy race and she's running away from Terminator. So uh, suddenly she's working and this Terminator uh, shows up and turns her life upside down. So it's going to be a whole it's almost a road movie about her uh, alongside Grace and Sarah Connor, uh, just running uh, away and trying to be safe. And you'll see more. <laughs> I, I think Danny is a really smart, young, brave uh, uh, woman. I think uh, she just She's, she doesn't come from a wealthy family. She's not rich at all. She's a hard worker. And I feel she's just independent and she wants to, uh, you know, like grow and make things better and just help her family. This is a different model of Terminator. Uh, I cannot give you details, but it is different and it, it is really scary. And it's, and, and she does feel threatened, like, she, like, He's fast and he's really after her. Um, they are trying to help her and save her, but he's after Danny. So, so it's pretty scary. It is really different. It's, of course, it's the movie set uh, today, you know, so, so the technology is, he, it has changed a lot. So it's a really new model of Terminator and it's really dangerous. And Gabriel Luna, who's performing it, he's, he's great. So uh, I think he's doing a great job and you'll see how scary he can be. Every week it's a whole different adventure. And I feel we were doing some scenes from the beginning of the movie and it felt like it was a year ago. You know, it's been so long and so different and we were in summer and now we're close to winter. So it's been a long journey and we've had all kinds of experiences and training for underwater trains, helicopters flying. It's been, it's been massive, all the stunts, you know, it's, it's huge. But I'm, I'm really excited I'm, and I'm really thankful because uh, it's been learning you know, it's been learning all the time and just like being amazed by this huge production. Now, more than ever, this movie is so relevant. If it was relevant back in the 80s and 90s when James Cameron created it, and now that he's, he's, he's involved again in this third, <laughs> in this continuation of the saga of the franchise, uh, I think it's, it's so relevant more than ever because, because he's, he's, James Cameron is such a visionary, you know, he's always there with that thing that you, we don't see and five years later we're all like, oh, he was right, you know, like he's a visionary. And, and he, has, he had this vision of technology and our relationship with technology and machines and, and suddenly we are leaving that right now. Now, you know, we have three <laughs> women and, and we are all different. We are all, I'm Colombian, Mackenzie's from Canada, uh, Linda is American, uh, but we are all like strong, independent, uh, women that you know we're we're fighting and we're working and we're uh, just trying to be safe uh, but i really like the fact that we're we're three women you know like in the new terminator it was sarah connor in the 80s and now we're three different and diverse uh, women here so it's it's been amazing to work with both of them, they are both amazing actresses and friends now. And you know, it's it's been. I'm, I'm, I feel really lucky and, and honored to be part of the movie. To that day that she got there and she was like, you know, like wardrobe and she was ready and she was so full of energy and all like, she's back. We we were all like, you know, she's back and she's strong and and you know, she's different because it's been almost 30 years, you know, 
but that energy and that power she has is still there. And that is, that is really exciting, but I think the most exciting part about like working with Linda is seeing that not only that character of Sarah Connor is back, but that Linda as an actress, she's still so passionate, so she's such a hard worker and she really cares about her craft and about acting about, and about her character. And that's so inspiring. It's just like, I wanna be like that. You know, like she's working so hard and she really cares uh, for the movie and for her character and she's really into it. So that's, as an actress, you know, just like, like that's what I love doing in my life. And, and I really wish uh, I'm like that when I'm her age. <laughs> Sarah, you know, at the end, she, she changed the future and Sarah made it. But suddenly there was not only that future because she changed that one, but there's a new future. And in this new future that we live in, uh, there's no Skynet, but there's Legion. So the thing is like, you can change the future, but you never know what's coming in that new one. And in this new one, there's another company that is, um, that has, Terminators and technology anyway is coming against humans. So, so Grace is trying to save me and also trying to educate me about what happened in that future uh, and how can I, how can we beat these uh, Terminators? Like action is huge, and you'll see everything you can imagine. It even blows my mind every time I'm like, what? You know, like train, but now a car chase and now we are on this freeway and then we are in this helicopter and this plane and we're falling uh, on this Humvee and we're underwater and we have to swim, but we have to run, but we are wet, but then we fly. It's so crazy, like the action you'll find in this movie. But, and of course it's technology and there are special effects and we have uh, some stunts, but we're, we're all trying hard, you know, like to make it uh, look real and to do as much as we can as actors. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.